Hi guys, I'm John Bro, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is the final episode in the entire Let's Play, minus the bonus episode, of course. And we are about to fight the final boss of the game, the Owl, apparently. No, we're not going to fight the Owl, but that would be so perfect. Hoot! The Windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. Somehow, even though I've been making noises this entire game, says the Owl. When you play the eight siren instruments, siren indicating that it's going to be really loud in front of the egg, he will awaken. I think that's kind of a weird sentence, because it sounds like the egg is going to be the one awakening, just like, I don't know, a sentient egg would. Humpty Dumpty. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Who? Who, me? Oh, that's who. I'm the one who's going to leave the island. Mount Tamaranch, yeah, Mount Tamaranch. I still think that Telltale Heights is a better name, and there really shouldn't be two names for this place, but, you know... And this is the very blocky Lego Mountain, and atop it, the Windfish's Egg. Which we can try to pick up and push off the mountain all we want, but that's not going to wake him up. How we wake him up is use the Ballad of the Windfish, which I will play very soon. But I also want to say that this is uh, this egg really doesn't look as big as it did in the title screen, so that's a little bit disappointing, but it's still bigger than most ostrich eggs. So, what I'm about to do is... Probably the same thing that every Let's Player has ever done playing through this game, but I still think it's the right thing to do. I'm going to stay stay perfectly quiet for this cutscene, because it is pretty much the moment that this entire game is known for. This is the most recognized moment of this entire game, and as such, I want to pay it my proper respects. So, ladies and gentlemen, Link will now be performing The Ballad of the Windfish. It's kind of a shame that for such a great performance they had to not center the camera, but, you know... Owl, owl, really? Owl! Owl! Owl, 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 owl. I will kill you, owl. Really, why is he still here? Okay, the time has come, my little friend, to talk of other things. Of shoes and chips and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings, the fish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. Oh, now he's just gonna stay there. He's not even gonna fly away. He's just gonna stay there and... I knew he was a stalker, but this is ridiculous. Okay, thanks a lot, Owl. Uh, but yes, this is the Windfish's Egg, and we're going to navigate through it like, uh, like the Mysteries of Koholent Island book in the library says. Like, it's different for every save file, but the directions that I have are right, up, up, right, up, up, right, up. It's kind of weird that someone wrote down directions through this egg because they've gone through here before and then, I guess, put it back together again upon leaving. Yeah. So it really is Humpty Dumpty. All the king's horses and men did it, because the horses can fix eggs. But, yes. And while I'm just navigating through this very short, simple maze, I also want to say that I, I really do like the whole Ballad of the Windfish 8 instruments thing, even though I did kind of make jokes about it. It's kind of emotional, and I really do think it's impressive, too, at the same time, because it makes it sound like 8 instruments, even though the Game Boy can only play 4 at one time. So, wait, I don't need that again, sorry. What I want is the magic powder, yes. Magic powder for the final boss of the game? Doesn't that sound ridiculous? No, it's not as ridiculous as you think. Well, actually it is, but it's it's something that happens. So we just jump down here in this dark, ominous hole, and we break our legs, and we say... Or no, we don't say this. Link never talks. Someone, mysterious, says, We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. Oh no! If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. Heh <laughs> heh, stereotypical laughing villain, you can never defeat us. Way two exclamation points, that is our that is our only weakness or something. Let's rumble. Let's rumble? We already fought a boxing mini boss. You're are you trying to one up that, that penguin that we fought? 
whatever. But this is the final boss with kind of interesting music. I don't know, it's, it doesn't really feel so much like final boss music to me. It kind of feels like mini boss music for Mega Man or something, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe I compare all this music to Mega Man just because it sounds like it's 8-bit music or something. And it probably is kind of difficult to make music like this sound like a final boss theme, but... Oh well. This is the first phase of the boss. Thankfully this isn't the entire boss fight, because that would be kind of disappointing just to defeat a black blob with magic powder. That's kind of dumb. But yes, this boss, I think it's supposed to, re uh, to represent all of Link's nightmares. So we have a blob, I guess. That's kind of weird, Link. What's wrong with you? And Aghanim from A Link to the Past. Further proof that this is a this is a game that took place after A Link to the Past and not before it. I guess that would make this the same Link that fought Aghanim in A Link to the Past, meaning this would be a game that directly takes place after this in the timeline. I don't know enough about the timeline to really say whether or not that's true, but it makes sense to me. So you just fight him the same way that you fought him in A, in a Link to the Past, just to reflect his attacks back on him, and he doesn't use his lightning attack either, so it's actually easier. But, strange thing about it is you can also use your shovel to deflect his attacks back on him, which is kind of weird, but you can do that. It's a lot like the, uh, the bottle thing in other, in other Zelda games with Ganon. If I had the shovel with me, I have my boomerang instead, which I'll show off later what that can do. I, if I had my shovel, I would totally try that, because that sounds like ridiculous fun. And also, Moldorm. I can totally see this being one of Link's worst nightmares. I'm kind of surprised that, uh that Dark Link didn't make an appearance as one of Link's nightmares, one of his worst fears, because that seems like the, the thing that Link would fear the most. But, you know, like Mr. L. This is Luigi, and this is like Mr. L. Luigi fighting himself in some way. Also, Ganon. Hello, Ganon. We haven't seen you in an entire game. Fancy seeing you here whenever you're firing, or you're, you're throwing around your Batarang, or whatever that's supposed to be. It looks like a it looks like two disconnected bat tridents. Like a double-sided lightsaber, except not. We just fight him with spin attacks. You can also fight him by using your Pegasus boost and dashing attack, or dash attacking him, but I'm just doing this because it seems easier to me. And with uh, the level 1 shield, or level 1 sword, I mean, I think you can actually beat him in like 6 or 12 hits. So with uh, level 2 sword, it's much, much easier. This is really an easy boss in general. We already got past the first big phase of it, which had multiple phases inside of it as, as well, obviously, but now we get to the real final phase with regular boss fight music, which is kind of odd to me. Kind of anticlimactic in general. Also, this boss's name is Dethel, which is a really stupid name for a final boss, but anyways, I digress. Uh, there are two ways to beat this boss. One, I'll, I guess I can show this off. One way, you just play jump rope with him. This is the ultimate intense version of jump roping. And you, uh, if he'll ever let me fire an arrow at his face. Come on, come on, open up. Open up, come to Papa. Come to Papa, my worst nightmare. You can fire arrows at him, and that, that kind of takes a long time. Or, you can just... Hold on. Hold on. Okay. His arms are really glitching out. I'm sorry. There's no way... There's no better way for me to do this with this emulator, but yeah. You just keep jumping over his arms. You must get tired of that eventually. Come on. But we just hit him once with the boomerang, one time in the eye, and he is dead. Like, we didn't even have to hit him at all with the arrows. We can just hit him once with the boomerang. Easiest final boss fight in probably any Zelda... Well, maybe not. I don't know if it's the easiest boss fight in any Zelda game. I think I remember dying to it whenever I played this for the first time, but... It's pretty easy if you know what to do, so anyways. This island is going to disappear. Or sorry, dis appear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Oh no, I'm going to flash. My beautiful arms and my one eye. I should have had better depth perception. I should have had LASIK eye surgery. Who's talking now? Luigi, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb up the stairs before you. What stairs? I don't see... Oh, there we... Wait, what? What? Are these supposed to be stairs? This looks like a river raft ride. This is like a raft. Whatever. I'll just... Oh, there are the stairs. Sort of. They sort of look like stairs. Whatever. But this is actually the part of the game that really blew my mind, because I already knew about the whole Battle of the Windfish thing, but this... This was like, what is this? What's going on? Not the owl. I'm not talking about the owl. He's, you know, he's there. I mean, that's... Yeah. 
Thankfully, this is the last time we'll ever see this owl ever again, unless we play Ocarina of Time later, which I probably eventually will. Hoot, young lad, I mean, Luigi, the hero. Yeah, that's right. What up now, Mario? I'm a hero. I'm the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. First, we had to mention Zelda in the first episode, just to, the, just to say that she was in the game. And now we're mentioning the Triforce, just so that it can be in the game. Not counting all those little pieces of power that make annoying music. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. Really? Windfish, you have the worst dreams ever. He, he's your guardian? Whatever. But one day the nightmares entered the wind or the dream the dream and began wreaking havoc, yeah. We saw he was totally wreaking so much havoc in that world. Couldn't you see all the different things that changed because he was there? No. Then you, Luigi, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Yeah, because you've been stalking me this whole time. In my sleep, apparently. Thank you, Luigi, my work is done. Thank goodness! The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. Every time he says hoot, I think it's like a pedophile statement, but never mind, never mind, never mind. Also, Windfish. Hello. Windfish doesn't look anything like a fish. He looks like a whale. Like a whale made up of a patchwork quilt, really. And he has tiny wings that don't even move. How does he even stay up? And also... Well, he doesn't stay up. That's why he was asleep that whole time, but... Also, I think that next to his tail, like that very th little, that little thing at the very end of his tail, it kind of looks like one of those armbands that Bowser wears, so that kind of makes me uh, have a bad feeling about this guy, but he's not bad. He just uh, has a weird downturned bulldog smile for us. I am the Windfish! He speaks in all caps, so I have to talk like a YouTube commenter. Not like any of you. I don't think any of you speak in all caps. Maybe sometimes you do. Long has been my slumber in my dreams. An egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and entire world. Dot, 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 but verily it be the nature of dreams to end. Yeah, it. that's obvious. No dream has ever not ended. I think that's kind of impossible. When I dost awaken, Koholent will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday thou may recall this island. Yeah, we, okay, whatever. That memory must be the real dream world. Why do you say world so much later than you say everything else? Come on, man. L learn to speak. And maybe don't use all caps next time. Come, Luigi. Okay, there you go. Let us awaken! Together! Yeah, we're sharing a dream with the windfish. How cute. And disturbing at the same time, but... Oh, again? Play the instrument... Okay, fine. I'll play the eight instruments again. Because I have eight mouths. Or maybe not eight. Not, not all of them are wind instruments, but still. It's kind of a instrument... An interesting image to play eight instruments at one time. Play the Song of Awakening. What is that from again? Song of Awakening? That's, uh... No, I'm thinking of Song of Healing from Majora's Mask. This is different. Battle of the Windfish, Song of Awakening, apparently the same thing. And this part reminds me also of... Cave Story? Because at the end of Cave Story, I'm not gonna spoil what happens exactly, but this kind of reminds me of that because it's like flashing back to all the... All the fond memories that we had of this island. You know, giving... Giving drugs to witches and sprinkling people with baby powder and all that good stuff, and... There's our love interest, whom I actually kind of forgot the name of, but yeah. All that's disappearing now. It's kind of sad. All of it's disappearing because of PowerPoint uh, effects, apparently. Insert dissolve, and we have our island disappearing. Okay, oh, hello, okay, geyser. I like Link's little spinning animation there. It's kind of fun. Uh, good times, good times. And the sun is shining once again. Actually, I don't think there was ever a point in this game where the sun wasn't shining. Like, why was the whole game... Why did it take place in the daytime? You'd expect it to take place at night, because it's a dream, but, you know. I guess not. I guess it was just in broad daylight. And Link is stranded on an isle... Or not even on an island now. He's stranded on a little piece of log. But, yes. Uh, and, and it's... Yep, yeah, Link's... Link's awakening, alright. Link is awake. And now the, the one log has turned into two logs, so that must mean there's hope in the world. Because he's looking up at the sun. That's kind of bad for your eyes, Link. How can he even see the sun? His hair is in the way. He has such big hair. With his big face. And there's the windfish. Wait, what was that noise just now? The windfish sounds like a, like a small bird. Okay. 
But yep, the windfish was real after all, and thankfully his dreams were fake, because he has the most ridiculous dreams. And is it just me, or does this face that Link makes just look like a meme face, like one that you'd expect to see on 4chan or something? I don't know, his chin just seems like it's going in all different directions or something, it just, it's weird to me. Oh yes, and this music. I'm never going to think of this music now without thinking of Pico's shout-out video to me, which he made after I made his, his new logo. Yep, Pico, you've left an impression. <laughs> oh. I'm never gonna think of this game, or this, this particular song without thinking of that now. And I'm sorry that the, the credits look a little bit glitchy, but this is the best that I could get them because I had to change the emulator a little bit to make sure that every other letter didn't flash constantly, because that would have been really distracting and kind of seizurific. So, yeah. They're just gonna have to be slightly transparent. I guess that's passable, and they're gonna flash a little bit, but not too much. And I guess this LP's over! This is the entire thing! This is all... it's all done! And Link is just gonna be stranded here forever! He's gonna die out in the ocean! That's kinda sad, so we don't have modern technology to make sure of where he is or anything. But whatever, he's oh, he's he's content. He's content never having to eat again. Uh, yeah, um, Link's Awakening, it's... I'm just gonna kinda say the various things that I think are kinda wrong and right with it now. It's definitely... It definitely has the weakest storyline of any of the Zelda games that I've ever played, because, you know, it's all just, It was a dream! Ah, ah. And that's about it. That's pretty much the the entire summary of the entire game, but... Yeah, and I, I, I could have shown that after the credits, there is another scene if you bother to beat the game without dying, but I'm not going to show that, because I'm not going to beat the game without dying. I could pretty easily, I think, if I really tried, but... It's, it's not worth the time, for now. So, I think it's just like one extra thing with Marin and seagulls and stuff, no idea. Yes. Uh, the, the game does have a kind of anticlimactic ending in general, I think, and kind of anticlimactic storyline. And there are definitely a lot of cheap puzzles and a lot of things that are kind of unclear. But I really do love the whole pace of the game. It moves by very quickly. And uh, one, one great thing I think is... Or one, one thing that I think is great about certain game design is whenever you can pick up a game and just play it at any time. You don't have to wait for a really long intro to start or anything really long and ridiculous to, to hinder your progress. You know, just pick, a, pick it up and go, and that's what this game is. Um, and it's better in that respect than, say, Ocarina of Time or Minish Cap, although I think those are still great games. And uh, as for this whole Let's Play, goodness. I feel like this is kind of a landmark Let's Play in a lot of different ways, because... This is when I helped Josh Jepson out with his intro, and when I made that monkey video for Peacall, and all this different stuff happened, and also I gained a lot of subscribers through this whole experience, like 200 of some craziness like that. That's ridiculous. And I thank you all so much for all your support. It's, it's amazing to me. Like, this is, this is also, I think, my favorite Let's Play. I experimented a lot with different things, like editing and recording in different ways. And I think this is actually also my first Let's Play that I did recording on an emulator, which was mostly a success, I guess. Not completely, there were still glitches, and I'll have to figure out ways to go over those glitches in other Let's Plays, but still. Yeah, this has just been a crazy experience, and I really do thank you all so very much for all your support and all the different things that you've done, liking, commenting... It's, it's, it just blows my mind. And I appreciate criticism, too. Anytime you've ever given me criticism on what I, what I could improve on, that's also been a, of great help. I'm not going to say that I do everything, you know... I, I will say this is probably my favorite Let's Play that I've done, but I don't do anything perfectly, and I don't think I ever will. But I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out, and I think that I'll hopefully be able to still improve after this, too. But yes, this is the end of the LP. This is it. This is the end. As you can clearly see on the title right there, or the, not not the title. I don't think there's a way to skip past the screen. No, there's not. This is the very end. I kind of hate it when the games do this, whenever they, ha whenever they have a the end screen that just goes on forever. But, you know, it's there. It is the end, so it fits. Mm. I guess that's all I wanted to say, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, there's still the bonus episode left which will come out hopefully tomorrow, if nothing goes horribly wrong, if I don't sleep in way too late or something, which is likely, actually, because I've been on a weird sleep schedule lately. But anyways, 
That'll be out tomorrow, and after that sometime, maybe not immediately, not right away, but I'll have my next LP up, and I, I'll, I, I'll give hints as to what that is. It's, uh, the title of it is six letters, the first letter is V, the last letter is V, and it's entirely possible that all the in-between letters are also V in the title, so... Yep, I'm gonna be playing Barney's Hide and Seek! No, just kidding. No, 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 no. Anyways, yes. Thank you all very much for watching, and good night.